Hi guys, welcome back. In the previous example, we created a button and we tried to store the data on a button click. So we'll see how to read the data from the database that we have stored. So now I'll try to go to my activity. So I'll try to create one more button. So that would be my read button. So that's nothing but when I, whatever I have stored in my database, I'll be able to read the data on that click, on this read click, so fine. So I have my button read ready. So I'll make this as read. So now I'll go to my main activity. So I'll try to initialize button read as well, button read. So now, so the same, I'll try to copy paste. And I have to replace this but with my button read. So I have to make this as button read. So now I have to put another case condition. That is if the case is r.id.button read. So I have to read the data. So to reading the data, what I try to do is again, I try to create a method that is read data. Fine, I'll try to create a method. Okay, so what I try to do is I have to call the database class and I have to call read data and I have to fetch the data. So now what I try to do is I try to cre create a database. I try to invoke that database class tb is equal to new database application context context so what I'll try to do now is like I try to take a list I, whatever I try to query I'll try to keep it in a list and I'll show you in a toast so now what I'll try to do is list camera model DB you know you know result is equal to okay result is equal to DB dot read contacts I try to make this method so now I have to write this method so what I try to do is I have already written this method so I'll try to explain this I'll try to copy paste this whole method in my SQLite open helper that's my database class so I'll try to write this here so now okay it's asking me import import it cursor object again okay import it so everything is fine here. So I have to call this directly. So what I'll try to do, get all contacts. So I'll come here, we have some error again. So we have no error, I guess. No, we have no error. So I'll try to clean this. So now what I'm trying to do is like, I call a method from my main activity on read click. So it tries to execute a simple query that is select star from your table, just executing a simple query. Once this is executed, you know, once this is executed, we have something known as cursor object. So we'll be able to traverse each and every object and each and every line using cursor object. So now once I execute this here, you know, we again, we have to get a writable database and I will try to execute this query. That's my select star. That's a raw query. That's a raw query that I try to execute. Once I get the cursor object, I need to traverse each and every field and I have to get the data. So what I'm trying to do is like I have created a contact list. I have created is an array, you know, which is of type camera model. So I'll be able to read the data and store in this model. So I'll return it back to my main activity. So fine. So now what I'll try to do is I'll try to uh, run this and we'll see whether we are trying to read the data and everything is fine. So I'll quickly try to launch my emulator and see. So my emulator is uh, being run. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to put a log and I'll try to show you the result that I'll be reading it on my read button click. So I'll try to do something like result. That is result from reading. Try to put this list as it is result. Fine. So we'll be seeing this in a log, you know, in the coming videos in 8.2, I'll be showing you how to create a custom adapter, list adapter, and whatever the data that I have fetched in a list, I'll be trying to put it in a list view that is a custom list view, and I'll be showing it in a form of list. So in 8.2, we'll be doing this as of now, I've just prepared all the stuffs in a list so that I'll be populating the data to my list using custom adapter. So now I'll just try to show this in my log. So in 8.2, we'll be seeing how we query the data and put it in a custom list adapter. So now we'll try to see my emulator has got launched or not. My emulator is launched. I'll try to run this program.
so i have no default concept so there is an error here so it's there is no default constructor so what i'll try to do is i'll try to create a default constructor here there so i have just created the default constructor though that's fine so my error is resolved so i'll try to run this so my emulator is running successfully so i open my log as well so i'll try to yeah once this is called you know we'll see what happened okay so my emulator is launched i'll try to click save i'll try to click save you know my data is saved i guess so we'll see uh, you know fetching the data whether uh, you know whether we have saved those data that we try to do it so we'll try to read and we'll just observe the log here so i'll try to click read you know we have a model so what i'll try to do is result from reading so we have to uh, you know pass this data so what i'll try to do is i'll try to take a string you know uh, camera ip so what i'll try to do is result dot get of zero dot get get camera ip so let's see what's the store here and i'll try to put this on a toast message so toast dot make text get application context and i have to get what is the camera ip that i have stored in my database i try to put toast dot length dot show fine so now we try to run this and i try to convert this to string you know we'll see the output in log as well as a toast message now so i'll try to rerun this so now uh, my changes has been reflected so what i'll try to do is i'll try to read so camera one so i'll try to go to my log and see what is there so okay i'll not be able to convert that to string a you know a very silly thing that i have done sorry so now you can see on my read camera one whatever i have stored in my save and i'm reading it from the database so now in 8.2 we'll be creating a custom adapter custom list adapter and we'll be populating this data to a list using a custom adapter so we'll be able to uh, you know see the data in a form of list so now we understood how to read the data how to save the data and how to create a database so in 8.2 we'll be seeing how to put this to a list view using a custom adapter hi guys welcome back this is the page from freshersworld.com welcome to our youtube channel on jobs and careers today we'll be seeing an important topic so you know before starting up what i'll be teaching today i just want to show you something you know i have this phone you know you can see my whatsapp right so can you see something like this yeah you can see something scrollable you can see your friends list everything right so today we'll be seeing something known as list view so now you know in your whatsapp you see a scroll you know probably you'll be seeing your friends one after the other so we all set this using a list view you know they're the latest which has come up in android is something known as recycler view but we need to know the basics so let's start with a list view a basic list view what i meant is a basic list view and in the list view you have uh, something more to learn also that will be coming in upcoming videos so now we'll just see a default list view which where the label would be a default android label you know and we'll be using something known as android uh, default simple list view something like that so if you want to have custom you know you have to have something custom then you have to have something known as an adapter and you have to create your know, own labeled file something like that so we'll be doing the complex part in the coming videos as well so now i just want to put some basics on a list view so let's start with list view so what i try to do is now you know i have my java as usual i have my resource so i try to jump into my labeled so i try to go to my java fine i Go to my main activity so i try to jump into my main activity what i try to do is i try to pull a list view and i try to put it on to my main activity so now i'll just search for the list view yeah i have my list view here so i try to set this okay so my list view is here so i try to give this name as list fine yeah you can see now i have a list view so what i try to do is i try to initialize this first you know i try to initialize this okay list view you know i may try to keep this as list so i created a so i created a list so what i try to do is i try to initialize this list 
So that's list is equal to, you know, again, as usual, find its view by ID. So r dot id dot list. Yeah, list is there. So I'll try to I'll try to typecast this as type list. So now what I want to do is I want to have a list view having few data. That is a very basic simple list view that I'll be uh, you know doing it now. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to take up an array. You know I try to take up an array. You know simple array something known as values. This should be fine. So new string array. So I try to create the array. Fine. So what I'll try to do is I try to dump some elements. First, the page my name. So I'll try to put my friend's name, you know, something like Chaitanya. I'll try to put the third name, Freshers World. Freshers World. I try to put my other friend name, probably, you know. Uh, you know, jobs, you know, probably I try to put jobs instead of my friend name. So that would be relevant. I try to put something known as magic. You know, I try to put something known as uh, what I can say. Like I, I can try to put something known as Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin. So fine. Sachin. Fine. So I have created my simple array so now i have to create an adapter and i have to i have to override four parameters that is one is the context the other one is uh, you know the second parameter would be your a simple list label the third parameter would be you know your text where you'll be actually writing the data the four parameter is the data that you want to write so i'll try to create an array adapter so this is a very basic list you you don't have uh, you know separate uh, uh, a list created or you don't have a separate label created if you want to do some complex task you know some complex list views you know probably you have to have an image and other things you have to have a custom adapter so that will be coming up in the coming videos so now i try to make this array adapter so i try to take this as string so adapter i try to keep this so new array adapter the first parameter as i said you that should be context the second parameter is something you know i have i'm using a default simple list view that is provided by android so android dot r dot leave it so simple list view so these are the defaults uh, uh, you know uh, labels that android provides so what i'll try to do is then i have to take android i have to take a text view where i'll be putting the data and i'll be showing it so android uh, spelling android dot r dot uh, you know id dot it's id so text view so i can take text one come i have to give the array so i have pass values so now simple i have initialized everything so it's good so just i have to set this to my list view so i have to set this adapter so what i'll try to do is list dot set adapter i have to set the adapter fine so it's very simple it's a very simple list view you know i'll try to run this so let's see the output whether my data you know the page chaitanya comes in a list view so i'll try to run my emulator so my emulator is up and ready i guess so my emulator is ready so what i'll try to do is i try to run this program so let's see what happens you know i'll try to run this fine i try to press enter so now let's see the output so my gradle is getting built so now you can see it here i am getting a list view yeah it's still running so let us see yeah as you can see it's dps chaitanya freshes world jobs magic and such and so this is a simple list view you know uh, we'll be uh, doing more custom list views in the coming classes for basics this list view should be good enough you know all the labels and all the text view so now would be default android that we are using so now in these four parameters as you can see this would be the text view and this would be the default list view and we are trying to set it to the list view that we have taken in my main activity and we have initialized in the ui for queries try to comment below we'll try to get back with more videos please subscribe to our youtube channel for more android videos thank you